What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Nate here from Out of the Basement, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And Steven. What's up, guys? And today, we're kicking it a little old school on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you've seen some recent videos, comment down below. Chairs or couch? We can't decide. What is more aesthetically pleasing? The chairs or the couch? Of course, this is our May Blu-ray update, which May was a banging month for Blu-rays. We've got... Tons of great pickups, some Scream Factories, some 4Ks, some A24s, and of course, we're doing our digital HD code giveaway for, we got one movie this month, guys, it's a little, dr it's a dry month for new releases, and that is for Annihilation. So, if you would like to win a digital HD code for that, stay tuned till the end of this video to figure out how. Without further ado... Let's get into our pickups for the month. Steve, why don't you start us off here with some DVDs? Yeah, uh, I actually I picked up a few DVDs, as is the tradition of the last few updates. But the first one is Kids um, by uh, Larry Clark and was written by uh, Harmony Corinne, the master genius behind Gummo. Best movie ever. Uh, it, it surrounds some New York skateboarders, some actual pro skaters uh, star in this film. So very interested to check this out. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, so I'm going to go up next here. I'm going to do two at a time right now. And we got a duplicate right off the bat. We got a double. Uh, Justin and I both picked up the Best Buy exclusive 4K of Annihilation. Is, is that the first instance that you've noticed of a 4K being exclusive? Yeah. I it's think kind of odd. It is odd. It It's a timed exclusive, though, because it says only till 1029. So presumably it'll come, huh. out, it'll come out everywhere yeah. eventually. But uh, really amazing movie. The best movie of 2018 so far, hands down. I pretty agree. much no contest. And then my next film is a recommendation from Mike, which I haven't watched yet, and that is I Saw the Devil. Found this at Family Video for two bucks, so I said, why the hell not? Mike talks this movie up pretty highly, so uh, curious to check it out. Justin, your <clears throat> next pick. All right. Something a little special about when I show off my Blu-rays, mine are in order of when I purchase them uh, within the month. And my first pickup here is, is a banger. Ooh, so happy they finally did this. It's South Park seasons one through five on Blu-ray. A wonderful box set, two discs per season. And oh my God, guys, like I've been wanting this to happen forever. I think more TV shows in general Agreed. need to start releasing like mass seasons <clears throat> on Blu-ray. Cartoon Network, we're looking at you. Where's the rest of regular show? <laughs> and Comedy Central, also looking in your general direction. At least they're making an effort, somewhat. Yeah. Comedy Central more <clears throat> than others. Yeah, and they did also make the six seasons 6 to 10 Blu-ray box set, which who knows? Maybe I pick that one up. Maybe you'll get to see that in maybe like some kind of a vlog or some sort of some future video that we're yeah. gonna upload. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, Bucky, your next pickups. Uh, the next three I'm gonna show are some skate videos I managed to get uh, <laughs> at the various disc replays. The first one is Cataclysmic Abyss, coming to you from the metal section. <laughs> yeah. And that uh, actually still has the poster in it, so that's cool. awesome. Love the artwork for that. Classic, like, medieval yeah. warrior art. I don't know how to explain it. And then we got Way Out East from Stereo Skateboards. And the classic Thrasher King Ooh. of the Road 2006. Absolute classic. Always a good time. Very good. Love King of the Road 06 <laughs> specifically. Yep. Uh, next up for me is a sci-fi movie I haven't got around to watching yet, and that is Pandorum, which stars Dennis Quaid and Ben Foster. Love me some Ben Foster. Uh, I've always wanted to see this movie. I've always seen like trailers for it, and it's always looked pretty interesting, but I just never got around to it. But I finally found it for like, uh, I think this was $3 at Half Price Books. So I picked it up, took a chance on it. Can't wait to check it out. Justin, your next pick. My next pick here is a 4K 
that I got from Family Video for one dollar and ninety nine cents. Nice for a four K Blu Ray, and that is John Wick Chapter Two. I was so reluctant on getting this for the longest time just because I thought John Wick Chapter 2 was a little tad bit underwhelming. Mm -hmm. However, it was still a fun time, just not as good as the first, so I've just been waiting for the right price, and I mean, a dollar and 99 cents <laughs> for something that retails for like probably 30. Yeah. Check, if you live by a family video, <laughs> you might want to hit it up at some point because they are going crazy with the Blu-ray sales. Yeah. We've been hauling really hard these past couple of weeks, yep. uh, getting a ton of movies for like 2 to $3 a piece. Yep. So check out your local family video. This has been a PSA brought to you by Out of the Basement. Bucky, your next pick. Okay. Next one is, uh, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on the channel before, but I, I'm, I'm a bit of an MMA fan. I don't want to say I'm MMA crazy. Because uh, then you'll get those people right. in the comments. They'll, they'll start Tap testing out. my knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a, a tap out window decal on my car. On your Ford F one fifty. But uh, I picked this one up. The uh, oh, WEC Aldo versus Faber classic card and uh, some great fights on here. And, and of course the Aldo Faber uh, trilogy. I think it's a trilogy. Go go ahead and call me out if it's not. So my next Blu-ray is Hobo with a Shotgun Ooh. with the slip. And go ahead and check out that price on there, two ninety nine. Yep. Happy to pick that one up. That was a a family video purchase. pickup. Yeah. So uh, you said it's right up my alley, and uh, I'm very excited to watch this. So it's a whole lot of dumb fun. So it's exactly as long as you go in expecting that, you're gonna have a good time. Sure. And the next one is another family video pickup, Brothers. I've only seen this one time, and it was in the theaters, but I really really liked it. Toby Maguire goes insane, uh, just the way I like him <laughs> in my films. He's got some like Ryan Gosling esque freakouts in this movie. Yeah, it's uh, so I'm really excited to revisit this one since uh, it's not fresh in my mind, uh, but I still have fond memories of it. If that makes sense, so hopefully it holds up. Brothers, yeah, hopefully. Brothers. Uh, next up for me are two A24 movies. The first one is The Monster, which uh, I checked it out, didn't really care for it. Uh, I thought it was a decent film. It was a good one-time watch, however... Why are you looking at me? Because <laughs> I'm just talking to you. Um, because you've seen it, so we could, you know, you True. can comment. Uh, I thought the mother character was really annoying and kind of just a shitty person in general. So the whole time she's getting, like, mauled by the creature, you're not exactly feeling bad for her because she's a shitty parent. Uh, Spoilers. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, surprising lack of Scott Speedsman in the movie. However, I will say that the practical creature effects were pretty cool. So, uh, The Monster. Good one-time watch. And next up is Sea of Trees, which is another A24 with Matthew McConaughey and Naomi Watts. This movie has pretty bad reviews across the board. I haven't checked it out yet, but it's an A24. It was $2 at Family Video. So, of course, I bought it. Justin, next up from you. My next pickup was part of the family video 5 for $10 Blu-ray sale. And it's not the Criterion, boys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just it kidding. It would be Wes Anderson's Moonrise Kingdom. I also have this version. I haven't, up, haven't upgraded to the... Because that, that, oh. that came out way before the Criterion. Yeah. So. But... I've been wanting to get into more of Wes Anderson's films because, you know, all these boys that are out of the basement, plus Mike, is always raving about them. And I saw Isle of Dogs. It's really enjoyed we're, it. We're hipsters. Saw Isle of Dogs. Really enjoyed it. So definitely want to check out more of his work. Oh, I've also seen Grand Budapest Hotel, but that's besides the point. Moonrise Kingdom. Nice. Uh, Bucky, your next three picks. Actually, we got a little... Uh special here yeah <clears throat> we got a dupe coming up here and that is blue velvet yep bucky watched it yeah you said the transfer wasn't impressive yeah at least this uh release isn't impressive like i don't think the transfer is, is not terrible david lynch film yeah but it, it still deserves a criterion and a better transfer so uh then the next one uh is another harmony corinne 
and that's Spring Breakers. Very nice. I haven't actually seen this movie, but uh, everybody I talk to say it's says it's good. Also so, an A twenty four. Yeah, also an A twenty four. So really enjoy forward to that one. I back Spring Breakers. And I think it's a really good movie. A great A twenty four. Oh yeah. Finally own The Witch. <sighs> a fantastic horror film. If you have not seen this, you are doing yourself a major disservice. So uh, get on this as quickly as possible. The Witch. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, my next pick is Itchy the Killer. This is a Takashi Miike film. I haven't got around to watching this one yet, but I've always heard about this movie for a very long time, and it finally got a brand new transfer. This is a brand new restoration from WellGo USA, which is a pretty awesome company. Uh, so I'm excited to check this one out. Not a whole lot to say about it, but it looks very interesting. My next pick is another family video purchase. Great movie. It is the sequel to The Collector, uh -huh. none other than The Collection. A nice little two-part horror mini-franchise, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it's nice to see a iconic killer in a mask in modern horror. Exactly. <laughs> we, we definitely miss that a lot, especially because The collect the Collector and The Collection are also kind of slashery in a way. Yeah. Especially The Collection. The Collection is just ridiculous in the best way possible. <laughs> yeah. The opening club scene... Yes. All the dogs, the house of traps. It's a great movie. Yep. Really enjoy that one. Yeah, they're nice watches. Uh, Bucky, another three from you, Palerino. All right, the next three, we got another A24, and that is The Disaster Artist. Hmm. Nice. Was uh, very happy with this movie. I was kind of uh, worried that I wasn't going to like it, that it wasn't going to be very good, but uh, I really enjoyed it this movie from beginning to end honestly and uh i'm gonna be excited to rewatch it and uh happy to have it but no slip Oof. Oof. i would have dug around for one yeah but oh well and then uh the next one is the nightmare on elm street seven film collection i noticed this price uh is starting to climb up steadily i don't know if it's going out of print soon or is out of print or what the deal is but i decided to go ahead and snatch it now before it gets out of hand and uh fun fact i've literally never seen a nightmare on elm street movie the first one and the last one are the best so that's that's what i hear at and least in my opinion the next one was a, a 4k purchase from Oof. family video i got this for 2.99 don't trigger me now and that is dunkirk <sighs> with the slip Oops. haven't seen this movie uh, but uh, Nate says it's great Dunkirk on 4K. Yeah. Uh, loved the Christopher Nolan movies that I've seen and uh, excited to check this one out. Yeah, it was pretty much, that one was just up to chance because I'm, I noticed it first, but I already saw, I should have just bought it for the slip and then gave it the other one to one of you. But I just turned to whoever was closest to me and it just so happened to be Bunt. So he snagged it. <sighs> really love Dunkirk though. I would love to get it on 4K at some point, but... Just not willing to pay the full price. Uh, next up for me, I've got, well, you know, I guess I could just do a triple. I could just do a triple because these are all from Scream Factory. First up with the slip is David Cronenberg's Rabid. I literally have no idea what this movie is about, but it was a brand new Scream Factory for $14.99 with the slip. And I'm familiar with David Cronenberg, so I just took a chance on it and picked it up. The cover looks pretty interesting. It looks maybe sort of like a zombie-esque film so hey i'm into that uh the next one is a movie that i've avoided for a long time and i just now realized i'm wearing the shirt but it is swamp thing the movie which is uh written and directed by wes craven to me this movie looks pretty bad i've always been afraid to watch it just because the costume really looks pretty terrible and it's always kept me away from the movie because I'm just like, I, I, I don't want the character ruined for me, but I don't know. Maybe it'll be some enjoyable, campy B-movie fun. I'm sure it's going to be yeah. awesome. But it was really cheap. It was like 13 bucks on Amazon, so I picked that up. No questions asked. Uh, and then finally, my last Scream Factory is Day of the Dead. Finally picked this one up on Blu-ray. Now I have all of the Romero movies on Blu-ray. Hopefully we can get a new Dawn of the Dead version soon because the old Anchor Bay release is good, but I just want the collector's packaging. We got a Criterion for Night, 
We got a Scream for Day. And, well, we do have a Region B for Dawn, but... So, uh, Dawn of the Dead, what can be said? Legendary zombie movie. Absolutely amazing. Really enjoy it. Check it out. My next pick is continuing the 5 for 10 at Family Video, and that's another A24. An A24 horror film called The Black Coat's Daughter. Ooh. Has Emma Roberts in it, because you know, she just likes being in horror films now. Mm -hmm. With Scream 4, and now this. I really want to see this movie. This, this right here, this is what I like to call a Nate movie. Because uh, pretty much any horror film that people hate, and it's a, because the only reason why they hate it is because it's a slow burn. It's it's boring. Yeah, it's boring. But it is a slow burn, and it gets pretty scary near the end. There's a lot of devil worshipping involved and satanic and ritualistic elements. I'm a big fan of slow burn, minimal payoff. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> and... And Satan. A, <laughs> and like, Satan. A24 just keeps killing it with their horror films. They know how to pick them. So, em. pretty good one. Nice. The Black Coat's Daughter. Your next three, Bunt. My next three... We've got some more 4Ks coming up. Ooh. First one being Brawl and Cell Block 99. Really, really thoroughly enjoyed this movie. It also is a, kind of a slow burn. Um, but... And it is a little long. The runtime is a little long. But you really start empathizing with Vince Vaughn's character. Uh, despite the fact that he's not perfect. He makes mistakes. Uh, but you really start to feel for him. Like his life goes from bad to absolute dog shit throughout <laughs> the course of this movie. And uh, despite that fact, it's still a fun watch. Nice. Uh, very gory. The gory effects are great, I yeah. thought. Um, and some, some pretty innovative gore, I think. And, um, yeah, just an all-around good film. And if you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend it. I know you haven't seen it. And you, you definitely need to check it out because I think it's right up your alley. Despite Vince Vaughn being in the lead role. <laughs> you know you know me. <laughs> he doesn't play Vince Vaughn in this movie. All right, all right. Uh, you can tell he has lines. <laughs> He's not just ad-libbing, but Brawl and Soul Block 99. And then uh, a masterpiece Ooh, of a film. Love it. Blade Runner 2049 on 4K. Can't wait to watch this again. I know we watched it on 4K right over here, but I need to watch it again. It's a great movie. Yeah. It's 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 one of those movies where it's three hours long, but you watch it and it's so engrossing. You're like, wow, the movie's already over? Yeah. Oh. It definitely doesn't feel like it's three hours long. Yeah, and visually stunning. Yeah. The 4K image quality Ooh. is just fantastic the I, hdr yeah i honestly say i i honestly think blade runner 2049 on 4k is the best picture quality that i've like ever seen like with my eyeballs dunkirk is up there the revenant looks really good the horse dude blade runner <laughs> Actually, I haven't seen the first Blade Runner, so uh, I'm going to pick that up on 4K2 eventually. But Well, I'll let you in on a secret. This one, it's better than, better than the original. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. And then, a Scream Factory I picked up that I have not seen, but it looks like a good time. Final Exam. Not much <laughs> to say about this one, but, uh, you know, I love me some slasher stuff. Um, so, yeah. Fun. This looks yeah. like a fun time. Final exam. Uh, next up from me is one of Justin's favorite movies, maybe? It's a really good movie. <laughs> it's not one of my favorites, but uh, I really do like it. Source Code. This is a Duncan Jones movie starring Jake Gyllenhaal with the slip, baby. Ooh. This was a family video find. Which, you know, that's ancient when uh, it had they had the slipcover version yeah. of this movie. Uh, really liked Duncan Jones. Moon is a great movie. I also enjoyed Warcraft for what it was. So I'm sure this movie's great. And I can't wait to check it out. Nice. Your next pick, My Jay next Rick. pick, another family video purchase. Another 5 for 10 purchase. Another A24. And that would be Freebird. And my next pick is another. <laughs> and my next pick is Boys. 
Another family video. Another 5 for 10. Another A24 purchase. And that is Free Fire. Ooh. Executively produced by Martin Scorsese. Starring Brie Larson. Killian Murphy. Nice. Because apparently that's how his name is pronounced. <laughs> and a few others. And it's an A24. I've never seen it. However, this little bit of the... Uh, quote down here says the craziest shootout of all time i think the movie is literally just a shootout like it just starts and it's just a shootout for an hour and a half i'm pretty sure <laughs> like if i'm if i'm not mistaken <laughs> That'd be kind of funny to i'm almost 100 percent certain so yeah i can't wait to check that out it seems pretty interesting uh, another three from you, Bunterino. Yeah, another three coming right up. Three screams Ooh, in a row. Two slips. Two slips. Uh, the first one is Dawn of the Dead. And that, of course, is the remake uh, from uh, What's-His-Face. Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder. His best film. Yeah, uh, sure. I, I mean, Watchmen, but Dawn of the Dead, close second. Uh, so I haven't seen this. Uh, everybody says it's pretty good that I've talked to. Solid remake. And just yeah. to keep in mind, when I say the people I've talked to say it's pretty good, I'm, I'm referring to Justin and Nate most of the time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Dawn of the Dead. And then we got Land of the Dead. Nice. Mixed reviews from the people I talked to. Good campy fun. John Leguizamo's in this movie. Ooh! And, uh, he, I mean, he plays himself, but it's oh, enjoyable. Course. And the main character is a zombie. True. The main character of the movie is a zombie. Yeah. So, Land of the Dead. Now, this and one. And then, uh, super excited to watch this one. Uh, I was going to buy the steel book. It probably still will down the line, but I really just wanted a copy. And that is Prince of Darkness. And you found this in the wild, I too, did. Which makes it... Even more yeah, of a purchase. Yeah, and the price was okay. I paid sixteen ninety nine for it. No slip, but, you know, like I said, I'll probably get the steelbook somewhere down the line. Prince of Darkness. Cool. Really great John Carpenter film. Both of you guys would enjoy it a lot. Donald Pleasance is in it. Of course. So, Michael! Uh, Michael! <laughs> uh, next up from me is a family video purchase, which is why I was comfortable with buying it, and that is Annabelle Creation with the slip. Annabelle Creation, of course, significantly better. <laughs> There's this weird trend going on with horror right now <laughs> where they make a really bad original horror yep. movie and then the sequel's just better. We saw it with Ouija, now we saw it with Annabelle. This was directed by David F. Sandberg, who I believe uh, directed Lights Out, which is also a pretty good horror movie. Uh, and yeah, this movie was genuinely pretty scary. Yeah. Entertaining. Uh, so, uh, for the 299 er I was like, Pfft. Of course. Of course. Why not? Why not? Why not? All right, guys, I am on my final pick here. Yep. Another family video, another A24, another 5 for 10 purchase, and that is a film called Mississippi Grind, and it stars Ben Mendelsohn and Ryan Reynolds. And I'm pretty sure it's a movie about poker, or at least some type some sort of, of gambling, casino gambling. And I don't know what the reviews are for this or anything, but I, uh, you heard it here. I want to get every single A24 on Blu-ray. And you, well, you passed up Tusk for the cheapest you'll ever find it. We'll get it. It'll be there. <laughs> It'll be there. Uh, so yeah, I don't really have much to say. This came out in 2015, and. Uh, Mississippi Grind. <laughs> Bunty. Uh, Jay, wait, let me redo that. Uh, I don't really have much to say about this film because I haven't seen it, but I am interested to check it out just because it's an A24. So there you go, Mississippi Grind. That was my last May Blu-ray pickup. Your final three picks, which is really like your final six picks. Yeah, I got a few here. You got a trilogy. Uh, yeah, but I saved the heat. For last. That is true. Uh, so the first one being the It's Alive trilogy. <laughs> and uh, haven't seen any of these movies, but I am very excited to watch them. From Larry Cohen. Uh, <laughs> there's the creature on the back. Looks like a baby. It is a baby. It's like an alien baby or yeah. something. So uh, I, I hope... <laughs> 
that Screen Factory continues making these box sets because I think they're awesome. You know, they did an Amityville one. Um, these, so these movies look like they're silly fun. Yeah. So keep keep up the box sets. We appreciate you, Screen Factory. We appreciate what you do. The next one is Synapse Films. Asasperia, Asasperia. And I uh, haven't seen this, uh, but I know they're remaking it. So I definitely am going to watch this before I see the remake. And uh, of course, you love it. Mike likes it. I don't think I don't know if J Rix has seen it. I've seen bits and pieces when we watched it on Halloween, but yeah. I was playing a game or something. Yeah, I threw it on in the background. What there's Suspiria is a legendary movie, visual horror masterpiece. Dario Argento knocking it out of the park. Uh, it's a slow burn. The payoff is great. Suspiria is a great movie. Check it out. Yep. Suspiria. And the 4K transfer is perfect. And then the last one, Ooh. Eat Your Heart Out, Michael Rose. Sorry, bro. <laughs> and that would be the Arrow Video Steelbook of Society. Found in the wild. Yeah, yeah found in the wild. At the wonderful Fry's Electronics. Yeah, for retail price, it wasn't crazy expensive or anything like that. So um, we all actually, besides Justin... Mike, you, and myself watched this movie on a whim mm -hmm. on Amazon Prime. And I know you didn't care for it too much, but Mike and I really, really liked this movie. Well, I thought it was fine. It was a good one-timer for me. Uh, the, the Not enough explosions for me. Yeah. <laughs> really enjoyed the fuck you, butthead. Fuck you, butthead. <laughs> yeah, some really great corny lines. Yeah. And uh, a lot of the visual effects and the visual effect gags that yeah. they do are great. The last, the the last scene of the movie, awesome. Yeah, but just everything leading up, I was like, Ugh. the one time Nate doesn't appreciate a slow burn. <laughs> this is, yeah, you're but, right. You're uh, right. There's the back. It's I don't know if you can make that out. It's just kind of a a fleshy mess back there. I'll show you the front again, and then on the inside, it's it's just like the uh, normal arrow video release it comes with a, a booklet unfortunately it doesn't come with the comic book that the uh, collector's edition does and the collector's edition is out of print still would like to get that someday but uh very happy to find the steel book and can't wait to watch this again great art love the Society. minimal the minimal yeah. art on the cover. i think this is closer to the original artwork mm. or it actually is the original artwork one of the two but yeah i do love that her tearing her own face off and uh, odd choice to put him on yeah. the cover because he's like, I guess the main villain, well, kind of a main villain, uh, but yeah, society. And my last Blu-ray is the Be the Belco Experiment, <laughs> uh, which was written by James Gunn, not directed by James Gunn, and uh, it was directed by Greg McLean. And this is kind of a weird movie because you could tell that James Gunn wrote the movie. However, the director didn't really seem to know how to, like, shoot James Gunn's humor, which I can't blame him for. So it just ends up with a lot of, like, really serious scenes that are undercut with a joke, and you're like, am I supposed to be laughing? But, like, the tone of the movie is just Are you talking about the Belko experiment, or are you talking about The Last Jedi? <laughs> uh, yeah, t complete tonal conflict throughout this movie but i still enjoyed it i'd say it's probably a good one-time watch it was fun but uh yeah the belco experiment so now on to the giveaway of course our monthly digital hd giveaway you know it you'll love it so we're giving away a code for annihilation and what you got to do is you got to like this video you got to subscribe to the channel and then you got to comment down below why you would like to win annihilation on digital HD. Did you see it? Did you miss it? Do you want to see it? Do you want to rewatch it? Let us know. Let's talk about movies in the comments. So if you want to win a digital HD code of annihilation, do all those steps. Of course, if you just enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we're always talking about movies, games. <laughs> what are we talking about games? <laughs> we're playing them. We're playing them. Check out our our live streams and OOTV play. I feel like we should restart that. All right. Restart that. Of course, if you enjoyed the video anyway, don't forget to leave a like. 
Of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that bell. Turn those notifications no. on. There we go. We're spicing it up a little bit, boy. No, gotta, come, gotta come up with a new motion. Of course, I'm Nate. I'm joined with Justin. See you guys later. And Steven. See you guys later. And we'll see you next time on Out of the Basement. Thank <laughs> you.